Let us open our Bibles, Romans chapter 1. Romans chapter 1. The word of God says, Romans chapter 1, verses, uh, I, I'll read a few verses, I'll skip some. But I want us to read uh, verses 1 to 4, then skip to verses 18 and 19. The word of God says, Paul, a servant, Paul, a servant of Christ Jesus, called to be an apostle, set apart for the gospel of God, which he promised beforehand through his prophets in the Holy Scriptures concerning his son, who was descended from David according to the flesh and was declared to be the son of God in power according to the spirit of holiness by his resurrection from the dead, Jesus Christ our Lord, through whom we have received grace, apostleship to bring about their obedience of faith for the sake of his name among all nations, including you who are called to belong to Jesus. Verses 8, 16. For I am not ashamed of the gospel, for it is the power of God for salvation to everyone who believes, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. For in the righteousness of God, for, for, the, for in it the righteousness of God is revealed from faith for faith. And it is written, as it is written, the righteous shall live by faith. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and righteousness of men who by the unrighteous oppress the truth. For what be known about God is plain to them because God has shown it to them. For, the, for his invisible attribute, namely his eternal power and divine nature have been clearly perceived even since the creation of the world in all these things that have been made so that they are without excuse. Although they knew God, they did not honor him as God or give thanks to him but they became futile in their thinking and their foolish hearts was darkened. Titus chapter 2. Titus chapter 2. But as for you, teach what accords with sound doctrine. All the men, all the men are to be sober-minded, dignified, self-controlled, sound in faith, in love, in steadfastness, all the women likewise are to be reverent in behavior, not slanderers or slaves to much wine. They are to teach what is good and, to, and so train to teach what is good and so train the young women to love their husbands and children, to be self-controlled, pure, working at home, kind and submissive to their own husbands that the word of God may not be reviled. Likewise, hide the younger men to be self-controlled. Show yourself in no respects to be a model of good works and in your teaching show integrity, dignity and sound speech that cannot be condemned so that an opportunity may be, so that an, opportunity, an opponent may not be put to shame having nothing evil to say about us. About us. Somebody recently said the world is completely disengaged. And somebody said yesterday when I visited somebody somewhere in Akuru, he, he said we are also estranged and disoriented. And this discussion has been going on the whole of this year especially in the world of work. Some people call it the marketplace. Mahali watu wanafanya kazi. And especially in organizations or government institutions, private, public, and also in private practice, there is a talk of communities who are disengaged ambao awako tena katika ile kazi ambao wanatakikana kufanya 
kwa mawazo yao yote na nguvu yao yote they are completely disengaged somebody has done research i just read a few days ago uh, a magazine that is called Harvard Business Review and they said 80% of employees are not engaged or some of them are not only they are not engaged but are actively disengaged at work they are at work but our our tena kwa kazi they are physically at work but they packed off long time ago and they are saying there are many reasons why people are disengaging, actively disengaging places of work. One, because tuliambiwa so many vijana mugisha soma, mupate, mupate kazi nzuri sana. So people went to school to get a job and earn a living. So they most of them are in the wrong profession and so they are not fulfilled. So they are completely or actively disengaged. And some of them are unmotivated because the systems, mahalu tunafanya kazi, is not an environment for growth. It's not an environment where human, humanity is not valued. You are not different from that computer in the office. You have to produce. Productivity is of paramount importance over human, the value of humanity. So it, the Harvard review says 85% of it, that is what I say. And 18%, out of that 85, 18% are the ones that I'm saying they are actively disengaged and 67% are not engaged and they say the cost of that disengagement goes into 7 trillion every day that is lost in the world but when you come to a country like Kenya you include the corruption so the, 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 when you include a social, an, an employee that is disengaged or organizations with employees that are not engaged, then you lose corruption and you lose, the, you, you lose because of low productivity. That is not our discussion. Even in Christianity, God has brought a people to himself. The people who are in the church, the Christians who are in the church, the men and women who are in the church, is a product of God's work through the death of Christ on the cross. See you, Monajua. You are not in church because you brought yourself. And even those who brought the, 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 themselves or who were brought even before they, 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 they were born, at least knows right now that you have to have a relationship with Jesus. If you, if you come to church and you don't have a relationship with Jesus, it is good that you come to church, but the relationship with Jesus is important and it is God's work. Nikitu ambayo mungu mwenyewe anafanya kupitia kwa yale yesu walitenda msala. Similarly, it is said that the church is no longer engaged in the work that God has given the church in the community of faith and in the community that the church is situated in. Si mumajua kuna kitu inaitua digital location. Ukienda Google map, can we locate Kipkorgot? I know it is possible we can locate. If you are in Facebook, then it is easy to locate you because I will just type keep Korgot. So you have a location. And as a community, you have a sphere of influence. Kuna mahali ambapo, the power, the opportunities, the resources that 
that God has given to this church, both human and material, you have a space that God has given you to touch the lives of people. You have a location. And so God is inviting, he's calling Christians to be engaged, not to be disengaged in the community. They should be engaged. And today I want to ask to think or to meditate or to contemplate how we can be entitled as two Christians in a Romans world one world. Paul writes to Christians in Rome and the Christians in Rome were like Christians in Wazingishu because Rome was one of that environment that we are people, we are people from every place in the world. It was a place of many communities, of many races, because we had Asians from the East. We had the Europeans. We had Africans from North Africa. And all of them were convinced in Rome. And Paul writes to them and tells them, this is the grand plan. In the mapenzi ya mungu, ya kwamba, verses 2 and 3, the message of God has been revealed, which was revealed to David, has come to us. And it is about the power of God that resurrected Jesus from the dead. God has provided you with the divine power. God has provided you with a relationship and he has put you in a community of faith and you have a reason to survive. I am not ashamed of the gospel because it is the power of God to bring salvation. God is in the business of changing people to be worshippers. He did it in the Old Testament. He changed the Jews who are wanderers, who had gone to Egypt to slavery to one man who was called Pharaoh, the office of Pharaoh, to serve him. And after 430 years, God came to them and changed wanderers into worshippers. In fact, the message of Moses to God was, I want you to let go the Israel so that they can go to the desert and worship God. And that is still the purpose of God. He's given us this opportunity and still calls us so that we can go to the world and make the world God's worshippers. Because the world is busy worshipping power, status, wealth. And in fact, that is the philosophy that controls the, men, the minds of many men. It is not what God is saying. So Paul writes Romans telling them, this is our world, but I am not ashamed of the gospel. That tells you there were people who are completely disengaged and were no longer interested in demonstrating the power and communicating the power of the gospel. You know the power of the gospel can be voiced, it can be acted, Deed, word, and sign. Matayani, neno, na matendo. So Paul tells them, I am not ashamed. And then comes, coming to chapter verses 19, he says, because the world is no longer interested with what God has revealed. What is the world doing? One, they are suppressing the truth. They no longer want to hear the truth. What is the world doing? It is acting the opposite of the world. They have even lost humanity. That is what it says when you read on a point earlier. Even going to chapter 2, the Jews 
wa saying we are a moral people sisi ni watu wa dini hii ambayo itakuwa they will bless and be blessed sivyo so niambiwa watakuwa baraka na wale watawalaani nitawalaani pia Israel was a protected community to demonstrate the power of God bwana asifiwe walikuwa walindwa so Paul anaongea anasema na wayahudi wanaweka watu kando chapter 2 So dhambi inaongezeka ubinafsi inaongezeka madharau inaongezeka wivu inaongezeka Nini nini si mnaishi community hata huko risaa Bado mnasikia kuna warudi Hakuna warudi mtu alisema hakuna warudi wote walienda kanisa Unashangaa? Long time ago wakati tulikuwa na video na alikuwa akitumia mfano wa jati. Kuna mama mmoja aliulizwa, "Mama, urudi ni nini?" "Urudi ni nini, mama?" "Sema." Ule ngara ngi ni bochi, nikiona kitu ya mtu, roho yangu nakatika. So, ikaonekana witchcraft is not a product that is being given it is an attitude of heart that is evil na hapo the romans 1 inasema ya kwamba in the church we have hate we have we don't love our neighbor we talk we slander our neighbor how can we survive in such a world even before we talk about the economic challenges that are brought up about because of mismanagement or other issues even when it, before we talk about this person who kills children wanjala wa moispirit and wanjala wa nairobi before we talk about them and judge them how many have we killed don't you know that in first john in asema ya kwamba if you don't have your neighbor you are a mother ama mjesoma kiyo na watu nashangaa sana you read in the scriptures if when you don't have your neighbor the bible says you are a mother and i think that is what mtu alisema kumbe warudi walitoka village na wakakimbia kanisa ya village wakakuwa sawa and i was reading another history like i said the first the first convert of Africa Island Mission in Kapsabel Mission Station. One only end up for a mission station. The first convert were those who were ostracized. Wale walikuwa wamefukuzwa kwa community na wengi wao walikuwa warobi. Kwa sababu ukiaroga mtu una watu wanataka kukuua na wanaita watu ya familia yako wanasema let us stone him to death kwa sababu ameroga huyu. So the the watu wa ukoo wanasema Atuwezi kwa mtu yetu anatupa mawe kando na wewe unapitia nyuma paka kimondi forest unaenda kukaa forest miaka yote so wakati mission station ilifunguliwa the only cities of refuge for them was what the mission station so romans 1 si 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 jasema nyinyi ninasoma sema what was happening in romans 1 and so the question is how can we survive because in titus 1 The pastor has been invited to come to a Romans 1 environment called AIC Kipkorbo and set systems that gives life and put in place systems institutions values that develop a community of faith that is giving life one as if you that breathes life to the community to the spiritual community and even going alafu wanaenda paka jumuiya mahali ambapo wanatoka and give life because Jesus came to give life and life in abundance tumesema amen na mama hai kusemeka hai hai ko sawa so anataka kupeana maisha And I'm telling you this society needs real life 
and real life comes from God's representative on earth. The body of community that he has put on earth so that it gives life. That gives life. Ukisoma wa Thessalonica, is it chapter 4? In a sermon, you have not seen the evil that can happen in this world. Because there is somebody who, who is on the way. Kuna mutu wamefunga njia to see only the full-blown evil. Na hiyo ni kanisa. The reason why we have not seen the worst of this Kenyan society. We have just seen a glimpse of the evil in us in Kenya currently. And we have been seen. But do you know the reason why we have not seen the full-blown evil in this world? It's because the church is, pre is present. But if, tell me, if the church was not only present, but engaged in the transformation of community through touching lives, either in word, sign and deed, this world will be different. And that is why in Titus 1, Paul talks to Titus, I'm sending you to Crete, to these people who are, yes, they are, they, 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 they are Christians, but are lazy people, but you need to help them by putting institutions in place that builds the life. And by Najenga Maisha, ili watu waweze kuwa motivated kubadilisha Maisha. Akasema, enda na uongeleje wazee, ambao ni wazee kwa miaka. Akasema wawe nini? Temperate. Wawe wenye kiasi. Wawe temperate, wenye kiasi. Let us read up on Titus chapter 2 verses 2. Older men are to be sober-minded, dignified, self-controlled, sound in faith, in love, and steadfastness. Sober-minded. You look your name on me, temperate. Sober-minded. In other words, Titus is saying, how was it? Why were they are able to make use of what he is in the world, to make good use of what is in the world, responsible. They are responsible. They are responsible users of what they consume. Unajua wa Kristo unayasambiwa mzewenyo wa kanisa akiwa kwa alusi ya nakula sana is gluttonous. Yo mzesi ya meanguka is gluttonous. Kwa sababu sisi ya tuongei juu ya pombe kwa sababu wakuna watu na kunyo pombe hapa. Sivyo. Hakuna. Kwa sababu sisi tuli inherit a culture where we don't drink those who go to church. So Titus is saying these wazes are sober. People who are sober. And don't forget that mental health is becoming a problem. So those who are in the medical field, especially the medical mental health facility part, everybody could be mentally disturbed. Especially science kuna mafuta imeongezeka from juzi jana na liyona mekua wandati ashta kilirudisha tano chini sinyo but still it is high so it is easy upate watu wengi wanasumbuka kwa sababu mafuta ikienda ju karama ya maisha inaenda ju inasemekana hata wakati wakubit watoto walikula sana wakati walikaa nyumbani paka wazazi wengine wa realize ya kwamba it is costly to maintain children at home na wakaanza ku create opportunities ya watoto kwenda shule kwa sababu one inawafanya wasitange tange Kenya hii wasitembee 
they are supposed to come and mother their children. So, akasema, wawe sober. People who are able to support the community because they are sober. Because in this community there are a lot of challenges. There are those who are sick and they are not able to go to the hospital. It needs sober old, uh, men, uh, older men. Even in this child, there are those who are struggling and the eldership should be a sober eldership that values humanity. And then it continues to say they are sound also in faith. They know what they believe. They are sound in love. Their love is sacrificial. Their love is not only sacrificial, it is a love that honors life. It is full of compassion. It is full of kindness. You know how the Bible describes love? It is describes love in 13 attributes. First Corinthians chapter, is it chapter 12? Or chapter 13. It describes love. It is patient. It does not count any evil. Ayesabu, ayesemi jana, ulifanya hivi. Leo, unafanya hivi. Sasa, unafanya hivi. Sasa, mambo yangu na wewe imeisha. Love, ya waze wa kanisa haifiki yako. Love, ya waze wa kanisa nasema, even if you have done seven times, we will take you an extra mile for 90 times. And those are the elders that we are. And they are also steadfast. They know, they can stand for what is good, what is honorable. One has a feeling. And that is the community that God is putting in a Romans 1 word of older men in the church who are sober-minded. Not given to drinking, Kuna wazee kifika za saba kwa sababu wana kutunanga jai brika mmoja anataka brika ya pili. So awezi ya dazea kukreti ya anataka chai. <laughs> na semekana kuna mzee mjini mahali la kienda shamba hati mdi ya nasema nataka Sprite. Anaambia mama leta Sprite, leta Sprite. Kwa hake ya mayununua Sprite meja. Kwa sababu yeye ajelewa kitu jina, analewa nini? Sprite. Hakipewa Sprite, anasema, bas, bas, kuna wabi nyetas. <laughs> so he is not sober-minded until he has some Sprite. And then it goes on. It says, older women. Na mina jua ni wengi. Sikuizi tunasema, mbogo hitua, kwa sababu njini sikuizi ya timunachapa ta. Mbili, tatu. At 40, unaansa kusema kwa watuwa. Sio kama mama yangu at 40, 40 something alikuwa badu anapiga raundi. Badu amefika nusu. Eh? Now, akiwa 70, 70 something sahi, badu anasema watote ni nini mbae? Muna wafikiri hii metosha? Mulete ingini. Mungu ndi analete vitu yi watu wanakula. Hata isisi ya tukwa na kitu si mumekula baka mumekua watu. Hmm? So, nasema older women in the church. Those who have been given the responsibility to mentor others. And nasema the older women to teach the younger women. Those who are married, who, married, who, who, are, who, who recently got married, bring them up. How to love their husbands, how to take care of their homes. Mumona, Wizzy, ladies, Mumona, and Lizzy, Wizzy, Kisu, Yako, Bad. I'm a Mumona, I'm a Muski. I'm a Muski. I'm a Muski. I'm a the culture of death in this country, both for which happens in the marriage setting, it happens in the community, but I'm talking especially about marriage. Because I have been telling people, do you know the world of men is different? They are socialized different. 
Even when you see, see culturally, institutions here to socialize a man into his tribe are still existing. But institutions here to socialize women into their tribe, all of those institutions have been destroyed. And nothing has replaced it. And the scriptures is telling us today, the one who is replacing the institutions to take care of younger women is older women in the church. But the challenge we have is that older women in the church are slanderers and gossipers. Or need you buy. Sorry, I'm going to be a little bit more. People who don't want to mentor the younger to be responsible in family affairs. But don't forget that if you don't value family, you don't also value God. Because there are three institutions that God put in, into this world. The first institution is the institution of family. The second institution is the church. And the third institution is government. All of those institutions, it is God who put it into a community. And in 2000, in 1998, I think so, when women went to Beijing for the first time, was it 92 or some years there, the keynote speaker was the wife of the then president of America, George W. Bush, the senior. And he said to women, you will never regret for a missed work ticket, work, work target. I know most of you are women who are employed. You work in a government institution, in a, you work in an institution. You will never regret for not meeting a work target, but you will regret the rest of your life if you lose a family. Motherhood cannot be replaced with a working womanhood. That is why Paul is telling the institution, the community of faith, all the women have a role to bring up young women to take care of the children, to take care of the family because of the next generation of people that we have to produce who will continue the, the gospel in the community. So say, amen. Amen. That is what God is looking for. And the same, I want to finish, and the same he goes to, to, to what is he saying about the younger women? That they are to teach what is good and to train young women to love their husbands and children, to be self-controlled, pure, working at home, kind and submissive to their own husbands. The word of God may not be revived. So that the work of God, the word of God may not be revived. You know this world, Ambayo, the working women are bringing to us in the family, where there is this girl who takes care of our needs when we are not there, also, also feeds the family. And then the lady comes and sits down. I don't, I, I don't want to quarrel about that. But when will your family know that you are at home? When will people feel your embrace and your, the food that you prepare and the service that you give? Kama sisi zote tutakuja mkana kuangalia TV. When will this mother press the, 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 the close button of the TV and talk to us as a mother, including the, the father? Did you know they are saying the first child you have is that husband that you have? You can put up that remote and tell Baba, it is time for us to pray. But before we pray, I want to tell you I am your mother and I love you. Lakini kama wewe unafika kama watoto wa melala na mimi naye nafika kama watoto wa melala na tunatoka pamoja. And what will you teach the younger women? Kutoka saa mbili to mimi tu I town. Men husbands are complaining to me because I do counseling. The reason wameja silver wanakunywa chai paka saa tatu, wanasema saa ingine nafika kama mama ajafika so nina buy time afike ndio ni fike at least amefika And then it goes on to the young men 
Kasema, teach young men wawe pure to be responsible. Many young men wako na ugonjwa I think I said when I was here, Peter Pan syndrome. They have refused to grow. They have refused to grow. They are digitally disoriented. Kazi yao tu ni simu. You never see a girl coming to visit them. Because maybe they have lost their manhood through masturbation and pro- pornography. They have no interest. And the, 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 women, the, the ladies on the other side, unangojia, unasema, uwi mtoto aolewi, mwagu niti ni ito ni, kigela, chundukule, pornography, digital world. Am I making sense? A Titus 2 solution. So my question is, wacha nifungia hapo, are we an engaged Christian community? Is our community feeling the presence of the church? I want to encourage you that don't let your guard off. You have a role as a community of faith to touch the lives of this community, to transform the community, to touch the life of young men, young women, so that this world can be better, can see a better tomorrow. Because the presence of the church in the world makes the difference. It abadilisha easy communities and by Tukunayo. Politics will not change. Mumeona. Politicians build institutions today and even before inaanza kushika chini wamenakuja ku destroy. Na walikuwa kisema there are better institu- uh, uh, institutions ambayo itabadilisha nchi. The social and political world is fluid in abadilika kila wakati. But the church has an un- unchanging standard. The church has an as as information that is permanent. Because the one who has given us that information is permanently in control and wants the people for himself to worship him, to serve him for the glory of his name. And God is inviting us today to rethink our place as a community of faith so that we deal with the Romans world, one, Romans one world by being an engaged community that women will meet the needs of the younger women. Older men will be temperate and be able to meet the needs of the younger men. And those who work in government or who are, who are because that is what it says also, the end. And those who, are, who serve some masters will serve in a way that this master is controlling. Because government is controlling. The leadership is always controlling. Creating standards every day. But if you serve with love and submission, this pharaoh in the person of the president in this country and the person of the deputies of this world and the person of the opposition leaders of this world who run affairs of men in this world will see the workforce that we have that is engaged, but engaged as enabled by the Lord will change their way of thinking. What a bad liquor. Na kuona ya kwamba kuna watu ambao mungu anawatumia. You don't need to say kutangasa ya kwamba unatumikia mungu. The, wa- the society will feel it. You go out with the information, the word. You go out with the deeds of change that happens because of Jesus did what sign and the miracles that happens because the, the economy will change because people will be working out they are engaged both in their they are, they are engaging their faith and their life as a whole thing may god help us asante